it might be a while before they are all finished. Though they're in playable state, I have played them. They are fun, but I actually got quite a lot of crashes last time I tried to play um, Hyrule Total War, and I understand that one's probably not as far along as, like, say, Third Age. Uh, also, I don't really know Lord of the Rings that well, so I probably wouldn't know what the fuck I was talking about anyway. And they have actually decided to just attack me outright, which is a strange one. Alright, so I kind of want to... I want to run. There we go. Okay. So yeah, that, that kind of strange that they done that, but okay. And these guys are just gonna sit here. Fantastic. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I just want you guys to attack. Why are you not attacking? And I probably should move everyone back into this formation. I forgot that. So yeah, I don't really know about the mods. I guess they could be okay, but I probably would wait until like a stable release. I don't know. Maybe there won't be a stable release, I don't know. Or maybe it was just my computer crashing for no reason. It probably is that, to be honest, because I, I just don't know. Even Third Age crashed a few times. I don't know why. Uh, I just, like, unspecified error and then it must exit, and I'm like, god damn it. Well, I have to say, I did have an amazing moment in, uh, in Third Age. Uh, no, it wasn't third age, it was indeed Hyrule, where uh, I basically had... Uh, there's there the Spearman. Uh, <laughs> I set up my trebuchets to just keep firing at these guys who basically wouldn't want to come near me for some reason. They just literally uh, stood out there. I assume it was like an AI glitch or something. But they literally just stood there and let me uh, hit them a bunch with trebuchets. Actually, they were slowly walking towards me, so it, it was just they were really slow walking, and they were only walking, they weren't running where they probably should have been. Uh, and <laughs> eventually, I just killed their leader in like one hit because trebuchets are fucking immense. Seriously, man, trebuchets, they just, they just know how fucking broken they are, and they're just like, yep, don't even give a shit. I can't even remember what mod that was. I'm pretty sure it was Third Age, but I can't actually be sure. Alright, let's 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 move our cavalry up. I mean, these are just missile cavalry, so that's pretty... You know, the Turks, rebels, and the Turkish themselves like to spam missile cavalry, which is pretty infuriating, in all honesty. I don't know why my frame rate drops so much. I assume it's because it's not really optimized for this type of PC, and, um... Pretty much anything you, pretty much any PC you get now, it's really not optimized for that sort of stuff. So, old games they don't run very well in newer PCs. Like you'd be surprised, especially when I try to get Age of Empires running. Like holy shit! The most I'm thankful for is f for that HD re-release is the fact that I won't be fucking fiddling about with recording programs and shit. I had to stop. Fraps every time I uh, started a match and every time I ended because it would not record it proper way. And I'm like, oh, fucking hell. Alright, so the missile cavalry here are kind of dispersing into the middle. <laughs> and yeah, I got spearmen. I could set them up in Chiltrums. I'll probably do that. Set them up in Chiltrums and send them. Uh, there's no, there's a, I could try and get my uh, cavalry to kind of go up the here, the back here, so I will actually try that. Alright, right clicking sometimes works. <laughs> it does when it, it, it works when it feels like it. Alright, there's too many missile guys in the center, so let's just attack. Uh, no, I do not want you to go this way. Now, uh, I can't. I believe someone told me if you hold shift and right click, it will uh, set waypoints. I can see that these red markers are here. I can't remember if it's shift or alt or something. 
Uh, it doesn't really look like... Well, it kind of looks like it's working, but I don't really know how to control it. And these guys are still going that way. Fine. I, n I know someone told me, and I, I, I forgot what it was already. Let's see if I can find it in the uh, options. Can I even go to... <sighs> Great. I can't even go to uh, controls here. Uh, you have to do it from the main menu, don't you? Of course you do. Alright, whatever then. <laughs> Alright, Spearman can get up there. Doesn't really matter that much, so yeah. Come on, guys. Get the fuck over here. Cavalry just does not want to respond to me, clearly. And here we have these guys who are probably just gonna kill themselves. And they're mainly cavalry, too. Whatever. Cavalry v missile cavalry. You already know where it's gonna win anyway, so you know. They also have some missile units in there. Alright. Seriously, they just don't want to obey me. It's just not happening. Alright, let's move, guys. Come on. Before the AI would like, kill themselves, kill their general. I better keep an eye on where their general is. Crusader Knights, too. Um, Crusader Sergeants. Apparently I've captured the wall somehow. <laughs> already. Uh, even though I didn't already. Yeah, I've captured the gateway twice, apparently. I can't actually see their general. I see me somewhere in here. Or he's probably right in the middle already. What the hell is he? Whatever. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got light cavalry coming up against us, but pff, light cavalry, whatever. Ah, uh, we're looking pretty good, right? <laughs> We've only killed 41%, admittedly. Why are these guys coming back this way, anyway? I don't know. Whatever. Sorry, cavalry. We have some more. This guy's got a lot of experience, but that's probably because, you know, he is the... Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, your faction leader, and you don't want them to get killed, so let me just bring this guy out. They have special abilities. You can use it so often. I believe this one makes it so that your morale of your army is basically never drops for a while. Which is actually really useful. You. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. So yeah, it, pretty much what it does is makes you. It really gives you a more morale boost. Now the English one is similar to this, but I can't remember exactly what it is. And obviously the Turks and the Egyptians get their own special one. The Turks, I believe, is Saladin. I can't remember what Egyptians get. Alright, that's a bad idea, because those are spearmen. I probably should have done that quicker than I actually did. Oh, they managed to get in here, okay. So yeah, it's it's actually very useful to use, and of course you can actually just normally rally. I, th I believe every so often it'll like, refresh. Saladin's one is quite powerful as well, as I recall. But uh, yeah. <sighs> okay, whatever, we'll just leave this as, as, it, as it is right now. And more of these guys coming in. The, the enemy is pretty much done by this point. But yeah, I actually f completely forgot that this was my hero, uh, Philip, King of France. Which is why you say he has so much experience, as I was saying, uh, pretty much. And that might mean I need to uh, kill Saladin at some point, which is not going to be fun, because he will be overpowered as fuck. He usually is. Then again, my guy is... My guy's okay, but I think Saladin is better. 
Alright. I still only got Spearman in there, so... Pretty much just mopping this up. Our the battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. All right, there we go. All of Christendom will be awed by our victory here today. Well, some men, but whatever. We took a rebel place in the middle of the desert. That probably no one's gonna attack. I don't see the Turks wanting to attack here, really. Uh, we're not gonna get much for this, but we'll sack it anyway. He only has four command, but he has quite high stats and everything else. All right, so I, I do still want to be sending my army uh, east. So we're gonna dump a few guys in here, and we're just gonna keep moving. Seems like the best plan. So yeah, keep that on high. So we're keep go we're gonna keep going east and just keep going and probably go down this way because I believe that's pretty much the Turkish territory. They actually did not take this place. I might take it, and I might or I might just speed through. Uh, because rebel villages not really going to bother probably. All right, we got these guys. They'll probably head up there, and I will get an army siege going here and get some more units. And get some more in Damascus probably. Get a priest in there actually. That'll do. Um, I don't know what I want to do over here. Okay, it's just a rebel. A few guys, a few rebels. Byzantines here. Uh, don't know why they're so far east. Uh, well, I mean, their territory is up here, but... Hopefully they do not attack me. That would be bad. Our relations are very good, so I hope not, but... Apparently the Byzantines own this Turkish town now. Oh, I forgot to move him. Um, oops. Thieves Guild on Antioch. Probably not going to happen. I apparently am the strongest faction. Or no, it's actually moved to the Byzantines. Man, they're strong. They must have a fucking army going on the back there. Alright, so this is a pretty hard fight, actually. If I bring these guys in, I can also recruit some mercenaries, which I might. Still quite a hard fight, okay. And I definitely will take um, Mosul though. Uh, I don't think it's worth showing this even though this is the faction leader. I guess they must have kept the faction leader in here and like send the air out. So yeah, I'm not going to show you this because it's pretty much 3 to 1 here and uh, I can't be bothered attacking a citadel right now because it fucking takes forever. So yeah, I didn't lose that many anyway. And I will sack this for mutual money. <laughs> I got to repair it. Alright. I don't know where he went to. If he died. Did he die? Did he die? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what we will do is we're gonna... We're gonna scare this Turkish army off. And probably just annihilate them like right now. And they're gonna run away. All right, so, right, so we got a fair amount of guys in there, and I don't really want to attack them, so I'm just gonna keep them there. Uh, Mosul is pretty much gonna be my main forward base from now on, so I'm pretty much gonna keep this guy in here. But we will keep our prince attacking. Okay, Tarkit or Takrit, <laughs> I didn't even know the name of it. It's pretty undefended, as we can see. And yeah, we're actually really pushing the Turks back at this point, so yeah. Alright, so let's let's think about what we want to do next, basically, as uh, I will fight this battle out here to get to, to claim uh, Adana. I could maybe get some more units. Should I? Uh, hmm. I don't know if they can reach in one turn. Probably. But... I don't actually know, so I will wait one more turn uh, to go attack there. We will see what happens. All right, I'll build a church here. Mines. 
Uh, pff, I don't know, communal farming, I guess. Alright, uh, uh, let's pretty much just get economic buildings up, pretty much, for me. Alright, uh, I wanted to get some stuff for the uh, Byzantines. We'll give them we'll give them some money, uh, regular tribute, we'll give them like 500 for 5 turns. 400. <laughs> and we will just give them that because uh, we want to kind of make sure that we stay friends with them because they are not as weak as they were in the original campaign. They are very powerful here. Alright, so apparently we are now the most advanced. Chivalry, marriage. Alright, okay. Doop doop. Um, you got a little dude there that I don't really care about. Ooh. That was your, uh, your reject army. <laughs> hmm. This pretty much divides up the uh, area in these rivers. <sighs> Do I have to go all the way around? That is so lame. Okay, I probably can, like, attack. Yeah, okay. Just because he was standing there, basically. Very, very simple fight here. Not even gonna bother. Alright. Okay, so this place is pretty much done already. I'm not even going to bother attacking with the other two. We're pretty much just going to go down into Baghdad, where the Sultan is out on his own, which is sad. Very sad. Okay. Alright, so, um, keep uh, producing guys in Antioch. Uh, we get these guys in. They cannot reach in one turn. I'm actually going to starve them out. I will leave it a couple turns, never mind. Uh, getting 5,000 for this once again. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to move my spy. It's not worth bringing them over there now, probably, so we'll just send them up. Uh, right, so I have 12 regions already, so I'm easily going to have this but by taking out the Turks, obviously, but. Question is, when do I actually want to stop? attacking them on the east here because Bag they probably only own Baghdad. I think that's pretty much all they'll own on this side. I don't know what this does, just make you're able to make knights I'm pretty sure. So okay I will take that. Yeah they're going to Constantinople. Byzantines will probably have a problem with that though. I can right, okay. More knights. Alright. Uh, right. Oops. I kinda. God damn it. Ugh. Whatever. Anyway, what town is looking to upgrade? This one? I don't think there's any others. Okay, Mosul. You can probably train a bunch of units, so we will get on that. I can also retrain some units. Might do that eventually. Uh, yeah, this guy's got nothing, pretty much. Boom. <laughs> Do I have to get a bunch of traits for that? Some more dread. Okay. Uh, I'll have you coming down this way. Yeah, this is no fight here at all, either. Once again, just spamming that alt resolve button, pretty much. It's not really worth it at all, though. Okay, so we are coming up to probably their uh, last city on this side. I assume Baghdad is pretty much all they have now. And it's poorly defended. The faction leader has withdrawn to it, but yeah, I really went to town on the Turks in this uh, these few videos. It's really about breaking them at the start, then they generally don't build that many units. They're pretty much preoccupied with the Byzantines on the, over the other side. So yeah, um, I don't think they'll actually have much else on anywhere basically on this side pretty much. 
All right, so I'm actually building up an army regardless. Okay, uh, how, how do we look? 